for joining me in my kitchen. Now I know you guys really enjoyed my cordless vacuum video. Now I'm really excited to show you this one. It's a Yidi K600 robot. Wait, what? Robot vacuum cleaner? Let me just show you and let's get straight into it. So let's get this opened up first of all. So of course, we've got instructions. And we've got an adapter here as well. So let me just show you. So now that is a, a two pin adapter. So I'm sure you guys have one lying around. Um, I had one here, but if you don't, then you can always order one from Amazon. Um, I will link up so you can order it from there if you like. Also, let's just take this out actually. We've got a charging dock here or a charging station. Also, we have a cleaning brush, a cleaning tool, and a small remote. And of course, the robot vacuum cleaner. So let's just take this out. What do you guys think? Now I think it looks quite sleek. It's got a scratch resistant glass top, one button, so it's quite easy to use. Press it once, or you can press it twice, and it will be um, a turbo use. Also, it has a sensor here as well, so let me just peel that off. Now what this sensor does is it just detects um, so when it's moving around in the room it doesn't bump into things let's just peel that off that felt good um, and also on and off switch button here now you can charge this in two ways so you can charge it with a uh, with a dock here or you can charge it with this plug so what you would do is just um, plug that in so connect that in there and obviously I've got my adapter so that will just go in there and you just plug it in as, as normal. Uh, cleaning of course, so let me just sh show you the bottom. Um, it's got small bristles here which spin round, gathers the dust into the middle and it's got some wheels here as well. Now what they do is they kind of move up and down um, and also a, a V brush here. So it will clean when it goes around it will gather dust and, and everything and go through there also a bin here as well which I'll show you when we use it um, and yes it's pretty straightforward so before I show you this in action let me just tell you about the remote now it, the default setting is that it will roam around itself in the room now also you can manually control this as well with the remote so we've got a few different buttons here we've got a start stop button there also, you can move it left and right, up and down. There's a spot cleaning button here. So what it does, it, if you press that button, it will start off in a small circle and then it will start making the circle more bigger and it will clean that way. Cleaning the edges, so there's a, um, a button in the middle here. If you press that, it will find its way to the edges and clean that. Now also this home button, now what it does is when you press that, um, it will make its way to the charging station. Um, so for example, if you're sitting down and you're watching telly, uh, you've switched it, you switch this on and it's basically you've left it around in the room to clean. Once it's finished, um, what you can do is you can just press the home button and it'll make its way to the charging dock. Also the clever little thing about this is when the battery battery um, is running low it will make its way um, to the charging station automatically um, so that's all about the items in the box let me show you how it works okay guys so let me just demonstrate this for you so I'll sprinkle some crisps um, I'll flick the switch button here the on button and also just to mention that the power button also changes color depending on what's happening and the information is in the book and it'll explain what it does. So let's switch it on. So Adam's gonna control the remote.
So as you can see guys, as, I mean that was quite impressive. Um, you can see that it's you almost cleaned everything straight away. And let me just show you the spot. So Adam, do you just want to move that? Just move the vacuum. And it's cleaned it up really well. It's picked up really well. Okay, so let me just show you the bin, guys. So after we've obviously been using this, um, let's just see how much it has. Right, so you just press a button here. Uh, before I show you uh, the bin inside, it looks like these are the filters. So it has a, a little white filter here and a black one, um, which you can easily wash and dry and pop them back in. So let's just do that. And then here we go. So there you go. Even though I, I, I hoover on a um, regular basis, you can see it has gathered up quite a bit of um, dirt here. And obviously, because of the, of the vacuum shape, it's really good under your beds, um, under your sofas, and it can you know pick up on all the dust that you can't really get to. Um, let me just show you. So yeah, as you can see, look, guys, picked up quite a fair bit. Um, and we're just going to tip that and empty that out. So if you're a first time robot vacuum user, I think this is great value, it has some great features as well. It's the same as the iRobot 6, but half the price, and also if you change your mind, you get 30 days money back guarantee. And guys, I forgot to mention, it's great for carpets and hard floor, and for just over £100, you really can't go wrong. So guys, we've finished with the robot vacuum, um, and as I mentioned before, it can track its way to the charging dock. So when you press the home button, that's what it will do. Well, that's what it should do, so let's demonstrate that and see what happens. Okay guys, so this robot vacuum cleaner normally retails at $199, which is £154. And, it's an, and as it's a new product, early bird discount price is $139, which is £107. So you get a discount of £46, which is really good if you order between the 27th of February and the 12th of March. I'll put the link in the description below for the discounted price and also if you want more information about it, um, do check it out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and do keep a look out for my Ramadan recipes lined up in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.